What's happening, fellas? It's Ken Sr. It's about 5, let's see, 5.20 a.m. on Tuesday morning after Memorial Day weekend. And uh, Jay asked, geez, you're in good shape. You must have a workout routine or something. Well, I'm glad you asked, Jay, because it's the or something that we want to talk about. Uh, yeah, hell yeah, I got a workout routine. Well, my routine starts. There's a clue. The sun hasn't come up yet. I'm up before the sun every day. We've got 24 hours in the day. And I'm going to make the best of it. I dedicate the beginning of every day to working out. I go to the gym every single day, and I have since 1991. That's 30 years. 1991 also happens to be the year that I quit drinking and quit smoking and quit doing drugs. That was over 30 years ago. And everything you see around here, this 52-acre compound with the lighted motocross track and the natural train track and the ponds, and uh, an acre of pavers. All of this is a result of discipline and getting up in the morning and dragging your ass out of bed whether you want to or not. Trust me, there's a lot of the gym. There's a lot of times where I'm broken or I'm sick, literally broken. Uh, I've been racing motorcycles the entire 30 years that, that I've been working out and I've had a lot of injuries. If I break my arm, I go to the gym and work out my legs. If I break my leg, I go to the gym and work out my arms. There's always something you can do. I broke my back. I dragged my ass in the gym and worked out my arms. It's it's uh it, it's not just a physical thing. It's it's a mental, it's a mental state. Um, it does a lot of things for you physically, mentally, spiritually. It it, it helps you heal in, in every way. Uh, getting the blood flowing if you're if you're injured helps you heal. And, and for me to not work out, my, my dad died at 59 years old. Guys, I'm 58 years old, and in nine months. It, I'm going to be the same age as my dad when he died. And, and to, for, for me, to not work out is to die. That's not an option. To drink is to die. That's not an option. And and, and I've, I've chosen another path, and I think it's pretty easy to see. This is a much better one. Last time I drank was August 26, 1991, and I went out in this little hot rod and got in a little bit of trouble. But uh, those days are over. But I've had this car for 32 years, and it still looks brand new because you got to take care of stuff. And take it all starts with taking care of yourself. Taking this bad boy up to Americade this weekend to do the uh, Iron Duke hill climb. I'm competing this weekend, racing uh, racing my CR500 at 58 years old, and working out is is a huge part of that. One of the things working out every day does for is it gives you confidence and belief in yourself, so that when you set goals, you believe you can actually accomplish them, and, and forcing yourself to work out the days you don't feel like going, which is, geez, maybe 25% uh, of the time, I don't really wanna go. Um, but I drag my ass out of bed and I go anyways. So, you just gotta do it. We all have 24 hours in the day. Let's say you sleep, if you sleep eight hours, in the words of Arnold Schwarzenegger, sleep faster. Uh, I go to bed Lately, I, I kind of changed my schedule where I, I, I try to go to bed a little bit earlier at 9, which usually means at 9.30 or 10, and I set the alarm for 5 so I can get up and, and, and drag my butt to the gym, whether I want to or not, because that's how I start every day. It's a, a promise to myself to not end up like my dad or, or my mom who died at 61. That's not going to be me, man. If it's God's will and... I'm gonna do everything in my power to make sure that, that I'm sticking around for my grandkids. And we have this, this 52 acre estate that we built here. And my hope is that the kids will build their houses here someday and I can hang out with my grandkids. But none of that's gonna happen if I'm drinking and drugging and smoking and not planning for the future. So, egging your ass out of bed in the morning and getting your day started early the right way by taking care of yourself is absolutely freaking mission critical. To me it is. And everybody I know in my life, all, all my role models, they all do the same thing. Working out, and I, I have role models that are in their 70s and, and, and 80s now, like uh, you know, uh, Clint Eastwood, uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Sylvester Stallone, those guys all work, all work out hard. They go to the gym pretty much every day and they're still in good shape. And I have other friends that you wouldn't know their names, but they're they're uh, local legends that, that that I see in the gym that are still kicking ass in their 70s. So you don't have to wither up. You don't have to get fat. You don't have to die young. Those are all choices. And for me, 
that's not a choice I'm making, man. I, I am, I'm choosing a different path. So everything you see around here, th this pond right here, I created this pond. I took, I took, I say I took time, I took time off of work to build this, but for me, taking time off of work was working on this for 16 hours a day for months until it was done. Most of my most of my adult vacations were spent here on the compound building stone walls. We got a ridiculous amount of stone walls here. Working on the paver driveway. You know, I, I set some big goals on what I wanted to create here, and I did a lot of the work myself. I literally put 2,700 hours, 2,700 hours on my Bobcat. I wore out two bulldozers here, two dump trucks, an excavator, um, and two Bobcats. So, I'm blessed with the fact that I love landscaping. It was like my second favorite thing to do besides riding a motorcycle. So for me, it wasn't, it was a labor of love. That's the thing, you gotta pick hobbies. And, you, and if you're watching this channel, I know you love motorcycles. Otherwise, you would have you would have signed off a long time ago. You wouldn't be here with me. But if you love motorcycles and you like being outdoors, consider yourself blessed to have a hobby and, and something you enjoy that'll get your butt off the couch doing something productive instead of watching TV or, or uh, playing video games or whatever it is people do with their time, drinking, drugging, whatever. Uh, none of that stuff has a, a good long-term prognosis so I'm off to the gym I'll be in the gym for a little bit less than an hour it usually takes me about an hour I'll tell you a little bit about my workout routine because that's that's what you asked Jay you want to know what my workout routine is and, and, and that's the cornerstone of, um, of, of any success I've achieved or will achieve is taking care of the body taking care of the body takes care of the mind too because if you feel good You're gonna have a good attitude. You're gonna be more motivated. And if you keep that promise to yourself to take care of yourself, you'll believe in the other promises that you, you make to yourself and you'll have the confidence to pull off your goals, dreams, and aspirations. It took me a couple few years to build that stone entryway in these walls here. That was, a, that was one of my goals. It's done and I'm moving on to the next goal. I've got more goals with the property up here. Stay tuned, you'll, you'll see I'm doing some cool stuff up there. And I'm, uh, be you guys in on that later and it's not just working out you've got to eat healthy too because it's it's like putting it's like putting diesel fuel in your two-stroke man you've got to you need you need good fuel and good motul two-stroke oil you gotta you gotta you gotta feed your machine your body so uh, we mostly Christy does all the cooking thank God I'm super blessed and that's another thing Christy would not absolutely not be in my life today if I was drinking and on the path I, I would be, because I wouldn't be, a, I'd be a mess. I'd be fat. I'd probably be broke. I'd be tough to be around. Uh, most people that drink and, and, and do drugs do a lot of crazy shit when, when they're under the influence. So she wouldn't be part of my life. Everything good in my life is a direct result out of not drinking, not taking drugs, working hard, working out. It, it's all it's all pieces of, of the success pie. And you guys watching this, it, it's available for you. I started with nothing. I literally started in debt when I got out of school with student loans and, and, and everything else. I started with nothing. So I've known Christy since we we're in our teens, like 18 years old. Um, and we worked out to the same gym for like 10 years uh, before she ended up becoming sing single and I was single. And uh, she asked me over for dinner and I never left. <laughs> she never asked me to leave, so I never left. But that's another story. But she definitely w wouldn't. You know, if I wasn't doing what I'm doing, she wouldn't be around. And why, why would she want to be? So, and, and she's on the same path as me. She's been working out. Uh, she used to do uh, body fit comp, bodybuilding competitions, body fit competitions, and uh, took her fitness very seriously. And, and I'm attracted to that. Someone who wants to take care of themselves too. But having people in your life that support your lifestyle that are on the same path it, it is absolutely key. Because if you're significant others drinking and drugging and out carousing, uh, yeah, it's not gonna work out if you're on, on this path and, and they're on that path. Back to the diet, uh, Christy cooks a gluten-free, pretty, pretty much a bodybuilder's diet. Uh, all, all, all the meals are pre-cooked. She spends sun, Saturday, Saturday she goes shopping, and Sunday she does the cooking. Saturday, I, I'm, and I work every weekend too, so we're, 
when she's cooking, I'm writing the ads, the, the ads that you see on eBay. Uh, we filmed 20 motorcycles Friday and Saturday and Sunday. I listed them all on eBay. So that's what we do. If we're not at an event, we're either working on the farm. She, Christy's been doing most, 90% of the mowing there. Um, she works out of the house and she'll spend a couple hours a day and go out and mow on our, on our uh, she, she mowed probably more, more grass than, than most landscapers did last week. Literally, she, she mowed 25 acres, some of it twice. So um, we take care of the property 90% ourselves. And we take care of our, you know, we don't go out to eat. I see, you know, so many people eating out and it's full of salt. And a lot of the processed food is is, is just sugar. It, it's like poison for you. And every time I eat out, I'm like, man, I wish, I wish I'd rather eat at home because I feel like shit. We had pizza Friday at work at the pizza, pizza party. I had two small corner pieces and I was like putting diesel in a race car. I just felt like shit afterwards. So eating right is, is, is huge. Getting enough sleep is huge. Taking supplements like this. Christy makes me these drinks. They're, they're um, vitamin drinks. It's water with uh, vitamin C and a whole bunch of other stuff in it, electrolytes. And um, she makes me two or three of those along with all my four meals. And uh, it, it all works out together. So in addition to resistance training, I, I've been running a mile every every day. Um, thanks to Brian Deegan. He said, you're not a man if you can't run a mile. And uh, I really wasn't doing a whole lot of cardio, but not only do I do, I do a mile, run a, run a mile to get my day started, I also, the wizard has a pedometer he, when he walks around the shop and he, he said he averages four miles a day because it's a big facility and the shops are 900 feet away from each other and we do a lot of walking back and forth and just walking around the, 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 the mill property. So I, I, every day I must walk another three miles, but we start out with a, a mile run and then, then I head in, into my warm up routine, which is I do, a total of 60 pull-ups. I do a total of 60 tri-dips. I do 100 push-ups, 100 sit-ups, 100 squats, and a 100 second plank. So that, that's my warm-up routine, and I break it down to two sets. Uh, I split it in half. I do 50 each of the 50s and 30 each of the 30s. I do one, one of those warm-up sets, and then I go into the gym, and, and Monday I'll do chest and try. Tuesday I'll do back and by. Wednesday I'll do shoulders and calves. Thursday I'll do legs, and and Friday I'll I'll do arms. So and if I if I miss a day, which happens now and then, um, I'll just keep the routine going. So like I, I went in the gym Sunday after sitting there listing writing ads for 18 hours, and uh, I uh, I did legs on Sunday and started off my week on Monday in the gym on Labor Day. The, the gym actually opened at 7 a.m., which kind of sucked because I was there at, at 6 30 um so I went for I went for a, a 20 minute walk around the neighborhood to kind of get warmed up a big part of success is just showing up and putting putting the effort in I've won 16 regional championships racing motocross and, and arena cross and those were one, not because I was the best rider. I mean, I'm not really built for motocross. I'm 6'2", 220, and I'm racing against 150 pound guys on, and at the time, I, um, most of my bikes were you know, pretty much stock um, due to financial reasons. But um, in the last few years, well, last, the last regional championship I won was in 2015. Uh, the, the one day championships, uh, I don't really even consider those championships. For me, a, a, motor, a motocross championship is a series. That means that there's 11 rounds and uh, minimum 11 rounds with two motos. So that's 22 races and it takes like, you know, four months. So um, three, four months, those series. So those are the real championships and a big part of that is discipline. You know, when you don't feel like going to the race, or you're sick or, or you're injured, you drag your ass out of bed broken and you drag your ass to the track and you, and you get it done. Otherwise, you don't stand a chance. And, and, and it's the same thing. With the, the gym is a big part of that, forcing yourself to go to the gym when you don't want to go up, when you want to hit the snooze alarm. And, you know, I, many winter nights, I'd rather, you know, st stay in bed with Christy than uh, drag my ass out of a bed and get into the frozen uh, car to go to the gym. But, but 
It's a choice. It's a decision. It's, it's discipline. It all boils down to discipline. Winning championships is discipline. Saving money is discipline. Getting out of debt, which is something I did uh, not too not too long ago, like four or five years ago, uh, I, I accomplished that. But that was I um, applied the, the, the Dave Ramsey uh, Christian business principles and financial principles and had a plastectomy and cut off, cut up all my, my credit cards and I started paying off my debt. Getting out of debt is discipline. Eating right is discipline. And the discipline all comes from the gym. It starts there. Doing one more set. Um, forcing yourself to work out when you don't feel like it. And when you leave in 30 years of going to the gym, I've never, ever, once, not even once, left the gym. Actually, no, it's true. Once I did, I hurt my back in the gym uh, lifting too much, but that's another story. Um, the... Uh, Never once did I leave the gym, besides that one time, not feeling better. It gets your endorphins, your adrenaline, your, your attitude. You feel better. You get oxygen in your system. They say that people, runners, uh, athletes have less cancer than uh, non-athletes. And I, I believe getting the oxygen in your system and getting the blood flowing uh, keeps you healthy physically, mentally, spiritually. It's, 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 it's the whole, the whole affects you, your, your whole being positively. What else can do that for you? There's really nothing else. And, and that, that's why I'm dragging my butt to the gym right now. We, we go to the gym even when we're on vacation. Our, our, uh, we're a member of Planet Fitness, we have the black card, so we can go to any gym in the country and they're in every state. So even when we travel, we uh, in the RV, we, we, we stop at the Planet Fitness and we work out. It's, it's that important to us, so we put that first. So it's 5.59 a.m. and I'm pulling up to the gym right here. I will be done here within an hour and I'll be the first one to work today. They'll be there at 7.15 and I got a project plan for the guys. Exactly where all 116 motorcycles are in the different buildings and I know exactly what we're doing and what the plan is. So I'm planning to succeed. I'll be the first one into the shop today and I'll be the last one to leave and I'll be there for probably 12 hours. The uh, Schedule I've been working the last few weeks is totally insane. Two weeks ago, we, we've been so busy. I worked over 90 hours in last, and that, that's uh, I normally don't track my hours, but I just wanted to do it just to, to so I could let Junior and uh, some of the guys know how much effort I'm actually putting in. Last week, I worked 84 hours, seven days, um, every day that there's work to do. And you know, we're heading to Americade on Thursday. I'm going to compete in the Iron Duke Hill Climb up there. On my CR 500, and uh, we're going to be filming at the rally. So my whole life revolves around number one, dragging my ass to the gym, but but motorcycling. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to be um, at the motorcycle rally, filming, uh, sharing that with you guys. And then the following week is Laconia and the Gunstock Hill Climb. We're actually racing up an Olympic ski slope, which will be pretty cool. So um, that'll be round two and three. And uh, yeah, it's a lot of work getting everything ready for that. I'm going to do it. I'm going to go in. I got to go because I got to go in and kick ass in the gym for an hour. I get a killer workout today. I'm going to do chest and tries today. And uh, it's going to be a good day. If you want what I have, it's yours to claim. But it all starts out with taking care of yourself. Having respect. No one's going to respect you if you don't respect yourself. No one's going to follow you if you're not going in a good direction. So take care of yourself. Set some huge goals. Drag your ass into the gym pretty much every day. Have faith in yourself and faith in God that it's all going to work out. If no one's told you today, I love each and every one of you. And God bless America. I got to get my ass in there. See ya.